Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I'm back with my beautiful baby sister that I have tortured on a Sunday and called her over saying you are going to be modeling for one of my videos. So I'm back and today we're gonna to do like a graphic liner, some fresh skin, a pretty lip on her. We've done like a top knot. I love her with like this high bun on her head. So we've done something like this. So let's get started. So the first thing, one of my fail safes again is this Water Venom Glow Ultra Fine Mist by Glow Recipe. Hydration, hydration. So whenever Mahi and Rustam, her brother, come over, I'm always doing, since they've been kids, I would, they would come over and I would put oil in their hair and then I would comb their hair. Then we would do face mask, face cream, and God knows what else. So they loved coming over and doing, and then they would come and be like, okay, are we doing that stuff because we like it? So even now when they're over, you know, I will do those things with them whenever I get the chance. And whenever they give me the chance now because they're busier, they're older, so they don't have time for me like they used to <laughs> but yeah so i'm just combed her brows i've put that hydrating spray on her face so i'm going to start first with my light born this way concealer by Too faced so i'm going to put some on my palette here and use my brush to just go over her eyelid first she's got really lovely beautiful baby skin so not much is needed on the face and last time I did makeup on her I still went heavier with the coverage but today I want to go even lighter to really celebrate just the lovely skin that she has. So I'm just lightly coating that eye. Again one of my main things that I do with each almost tutorial that you guys see me doing is use some dip down on her gel eyeliner very lightly because I don't want to create a very strong color on her eye because I want it to be all about her eyeliner today. So just blending that on her lid here, right? And then we're gonna go ahead and take some from the Huda Beauty, this is the Mercury Retrograde Palette. So I'm gonna take Karma, it's like a peachy tone, and blend that on the edges here to start creating like a color gradient here. Alcasa, I'm just gonna So now I'm going to use Galaxy from the same palette and go in the center part of her eye. So just adding that to the center here, open, close. So I'm just going adding that galaxy eyeshadow on her eye. Close. We have the team doing some bridal makeups today while we shoot. So if you hear some more noise than average, even though we're trying to control it, it's because I also have like an active studio that happens while I record these videos, right? So, so we've mixed that, blended that. I'm going to take the brush that I mix the Karma with and just softly blend both the shadows together here. Just very softly. You don't have to do much. Most people I feel over blend. Uh, when they're using their brush, they blend too harshly. The idea is to put it into place and then blend where what's needed and you should be fine. So I'm going to use Huda's Lifeliner now. Look down, Mahi. And I'm going to start creating my line. I'm just going to take it up, look straight, down again, especially when you're trying to create very precise lines, uh, eyeliners like this, so I like the roller, um, the Benefit roller eyeliner is another one that's really nice and even Huda's is really nice. Look down, open and look down because it helps you create that nice sharp kind of line. Mm -hmm. 
keep looking down, don't look up. So just making it a little thicker now. I'm gonna let this dry before we proceed. So keep your chin up and eyes down. So I'm gonna first just get this to happen and get this to dry a little bit so that I can see how much I want to extend it. So we're just going to wait now for two minutes. Mahi, keep looking down, Babu, don't look up, yeah? So at this point, a lot of clients look up and it wants to make me cry because they hit their liner on top of the shadow. So my entire time when I'm doing bridal makeup, I'm like, look down, look down, look down. The minute I'll turn around to do something, they look up and bang, eyeliner gets placed. So I'm like, please follow my instructions. But um, that's another thing I keep laughing. And I was thinking we should make these little videos of what actually happens to us as makeup artists. I think it would be a fun thing to do. Some common things that we all experience. And I realize it's like human nature because another thing I say when I'm speaking to clients is uh, once I put on the lipstick, don't like merge your lips or, you know. And that's the first thing they do. Even if I tell them not to, <laughs> I realize that it's like instinctual, right? So keep your eyes shut, Mahi. Just gonna wait till this dries completely. I'm gonna go ahead now and smoke out some of this liner a little bit. So I'm gonna take some, this is the Naked Palette, Urban Decay Heat Palette, and I'm taking ashes from it. And I'm gonna blend this out. So a little bit, just close to the liner. To soften the line a little bit. Open, close, right? So I'm going to start creating a more slightly darker edge and I'm going to do that now with my Huda Beauty Rose Remastered palette. I'm taking black truffle and I'm going to go over this edge here and start creating some more darkness. I know I tend to speak in English a lot, guys. I know that's one request that you speak Urdu so I'm going to keep trying to go between Urdu and English. So the idea is open. That we have to blend the liner on the black shadow. We have to blend the black shadow. Creating intensity. Right? Open. Look at me. Close again. Right, so now, down again, I'm gonna go over where I did the eyeliner again to intensify the corner wing. Because it's all about going back and forth, back and forth. So, need to take now. So open and look up now. I'm gonna go under her eye with this liner as well. Up again. Keep looking up right now, sweetie. But uh, so I'm going to take a wet bud now and just clean around where I've applied that line. So just going near it and cleaning up the line. All right. So now I'm going to take some black track and go inside her eye as well. Look up. Just let her eye rest for a minute and then any gaps you see. So any gaps you see, you wanna make 
sure that we fill them between the lower eyeliner that we put and her inner waterline will also go in the corners now just look down my hair so just here i feel there's a gap so i'm gonna fill it up again So I'm going to go ahead now, I, these are these Korean lashes, look down, open and look down. I'd gotten them at a fair, so I'm just going to see how much I need to cut. I need to cut a little bit. And what I like about them, that they're very natural because she's a young girl. I don't want to put a very heavy lash on her. And also given her eyes, I feel like it'll suit her if she has less volume in there. So if it's too much volume, it'll hide her eye. And the idea is to open and look down, is to enhance her eye because she's got these really beautiful eyes i keep telling her she looks like Catherine zara jones and she's like who's that open <laughs> yeah. open and i was like okay yeah different generation look down here so i'm just letting the lash um to dry the glue because again the glue can also hit the top part of the eye i'm sure every makeup artist open can relate that at some point someone has while you were doing their makeup look straight up when you were doing their liner and glue and bang on top of the eyes and it's a very nice now after years of experience i'll remove it with the bud reapply it but even then it's a real nuisance so i'm always like listen to me when i'm saying look down look down please so i'm going to take some black truffle now and look up my hair i'm going to also go under her eye and smudge it and then we'll clean it with the brush so don't worry about it going everywhere we're going to clean it with our not the brush sorry the bud um, so I'm just going to focus on getting this nice and smoky and then we'll clean it up. So open, up again, look up again. So I've smoked it out and I'm going to take my wet bud and clean it close to her eye. So it's like a blended kind of smokiness around her eye but i'm just going to clean it there up again and then once her concealer and skin is done then i'm going to go over it again to enhance this so just clean it up Ooh, i like that it looks good all right so i'm going to do that and now one more time i'm going to go back in with my liner and make the wings slightly thicker. Keep looking down, not, no, don't look up yet. Keep looking down. Keep looking down. E, keep looking down. Whoa. So Mahi just did exactly what I told her not to do and has put some eyeliner on shadow. So keep your eyes shut. So the way to do that then in case it happens is just take a dry bud. You're going to remove it quickly and then reapply some shadow there. Just keep your eyes shut till I tell you, yeah? So I'm just going to perfect her wing now. So I'm going to pull it all across and then I'm going to go ahead and clean it up with a bud which gives me more control. So make it as thick as you want to and as long as you want to and then we're going to use our wipe, our, bug, uh, our bud to wipe it. So keep your eyes shut, keep your chin up. I'm just going to put some eyeshadow where she looked up. So we're going to take some of this, the galaxy here and I'm going to go back in, add some of that there. And just with the wet butt, I'm going to now start making a more sharper wing. So 
so earbuds i feel are one of those tools as a makeup artist that can help you like blend clean create so much just look here open down so now i'm going to balance the wing once i've cleaned it up look down again so going ahead and balancing keep your eyes shut now So even while doing winged eyeliner, I mean the idea is to work with the shape of the eye. I feel a lot of people put a tape or something and you know there's always they'll say some trick for me. I always say follow the eye. And because I wanted this to be a more graphic statement making liner, I've pulled it quite a, out quite a bit and I've kept it quite dark and thick, but I've balanced it according to her own eye. So that's very important. Again, my master classes one of the main things i focus on is also working with your features with your face not everyone everything suits everyone but there's always something that suits everyone every face has something so unique about it and so the idea is to work with it for anyone who's interested in learning more than what i teach on youtube and if you think i teach everything on youtube this is like 2% or rather 0.2% of what i teach in my classes because we really in the classes we go into why we do things as well so we put information down below you can contact us enroll for our next master class so now i'm going to use some avino daily moisturizing cream mahi you're going to keep your eyes shut even though i know you want to open them <laughs> and i'm going to really moisturize this skin she already has like i said lovely skin to work with we just going to go in there and especially with young skin remember it's all about prepping hydrating making sure that they're doing their skin care you know so with my younger cousins uh you know anyone um you know in my family or friends that's young and they're like you know when should uh, boys and girls start doing skin care i'm like since since they're kids have something little that they like to do you know i put oil in my little nose hair i have a face moisturizer for her I, it, there's a whole video i did on shanur's essentials so for every age just making them get used to enjoying to do their skin care i think is really really important so keep your eyes shut now i'm going to use some dior universal dior backstage highlighter don't move so much i don't know, I don't know where to face <laughs> you're going to face exactly you're right here so i'm going to take some universal dior highlighter and i'm going to use my fingers and i'm going to just blend it into her skin so the warmth of the finger is going to help me just merge that into her skin and then i'm going to go ahead and take some medium bb cream so i'm going to use this bourjois healthy mix bb cream and i'm going to mix it in light and medium for my hair and i want to take a sponge mix it and then start buffing it on her face make sure you go down making sure that you don't dirty the white collar that is happening so we're just going to go ahead and buff this and then i'm going to use my fingers again this because i want it to really blend into her skin so look here my hair up again i'm going to go under her eye and then straight face okay, straight up again right and then i'm going to go ahead and use some deep tart shape tape and i'm going to mix it with some light medium neutral i'm going to take a brush and blend it and i'm going to go where i feel there's a little bit more concealing that we need so it's very little just around her mouth and up again under her eye under her eye i want to make it nice and like seamless because the entire eye is very graphic intense eye and hence i want her under eye to remain very nice and clean so you can see the full effect of the eye right so the minute you'll do that you'll really see that eye pop so look straight if you compare between what's happening to the other eye in here you realize that ek dam is aankh mein ab almost jaan si aa gayi because hum jo lower areas ko contrast kar rahe hain so it's picking up on that contrast it looking like nice and slick 
We're gonna do the same thing on the other eye, turn this way. Look here, up again. So I'm just cleaning around her eye here with my brush, right? Now I'm gonna take my sponge again, just pe wo do BB creams lage hai, and I'm just buffing now the area around where I've done the concealing, because I want the rest of her skin to, because she's got great skin, and I want it to see through. I don't want it to look like she's wearing a ton of foundation. This is where I feel BB creams are great, because they look very transparent. Up again. Right, and now I'm gonna go ahead and get some contouring happening because I want it to be nice and contoured for this look. And I'm gonna take some of my NW45 Pro Longwear and go on her beautiful cheekbones here. We all have these high cheekbones thanks to our grandparents predominantly jeans, uh, which Mahe has inherited as well. So we're going to nicely do that. I'm going down her nose, right under her jaw. Turn this way. And I'm going to just quickly now Blend it while it's still wet. So one of the tricks with the Pro Long Wear or any product I feel you use for contouring is that you don't want it to dry out while it's on the face. So work with it quickly. I'm gonna take the brush that I was using for my concealer and I'm going to just blend this out now, going back and forth. Look straight into the camera. Right, and then I'm gonna take some of the light medium honey Start shape tape and put it in the center to highlight that a little bit more. Making sure that the contouring part of the nose is nice and blended. So now I'm going to use some Super Moon from the same palette and go right at the inner corner with it. Like a little bit of a shimmer here. It's like a pearly shimmer that I'm using for some fun because I want this to be a young, fun look. Mahe is going to be turning 16 soon. Makes me want to cry because I feel like yesterday she was as old as Shanur and she used to come. I remember they used to live in Adelaide, Australia. So when she would visit, we were all and we had, she was like a baby in the family after a very long time. So we were all obsessed. So we would all fight over Mahe coming and she loved music and I would put this, um, these songs on and she would bob her head in her bed and I feel like now she's turning 16. So time really does, time really does man, pass by really quickly and now she plays with my Shanur and I guess that's the circle of life. So I've just dusted some Laura Mercier on her uh, face uh, powder, the setting powder, but very lightly I'm not using my sponge because again I want it to look nice and illuminated and I'm gonna go ahead and now Take my Pat McGrath trio, which I do love, as you guys must have seen this in my video a lot as well. And I'm gonna just mix them all together, smile, and really create some lovely glow on the cheekbones. Look this side, Mahi. Because she's got that lovely cheekbone around her mouth. Right, so create that, that nice hyper realness on the cheek here, all over, a little bit on the forehead also. And then like I always say, don't forget the neck because you don't want a shiny face and then no shine happening anywhere else. So be it your body, you know, if you're showing your chest, body, you know, arms, etc. You want to make sure that everything is nice and glowy. Now I'm going to take some of my mascara, Maybelline Great Lash Mascara. Look up my hand. And I'm going to go over her fake lash and her own lash to just kind of merge them. Up again. I'm just adding some to her lower lash as well. So I'm going to take some, this is Osus 
it's an extreme hold hairspray <laughs> that just sprayed all over my face okay <laughs> so this is the osas hairspray that i will now spray on my brush instead of my face and i'm going to now brush her eyebrow hair with it i don't want very like done eyebrows with this look for her so i'm just brushing out her own brows look here and this is a great way of doing the soap brow kind of trend right now. I feel like a lot of the products for it make the eyebrows stand up too much. And then sometimes hairspray is good enough, I feel. So I'm going to take some more. And we're going to go over her lovely eyebrows here. So I kind of defined it. It's a fun fresh way of doing the brow with such a statement making eye with a young girl i don't want her if i had done her eyebrows i feel like that would again make it seem too like you know harsh I harsh guess. yeah harsh so i'm going to take some flirted up blush now by sephora smile just as the apple of her cheek adding some nice fresh some on the tip of her, her nose as well my nani used to do this our nani rather used to do this so she used to love looking like she almost had a bit of a cold yeah yeah, it does look pretty, yeah? Look down. Now I'm just gonna cover the strip lash. So look down, the white of that lash is showing and I'm gonna strictly not look up, yeah? Remember not to look up. Okay. So I'm going really close to the strip because I can see it. And painting on that eyeliner on top. Mahi, keep looking down, Babu. So I've mixed some Riot House by, uh, it's a MAC color. It was a limited edition if I'm not mistaken. So it's like a peachy, really pretty kind of peachy color here. So I'm mixing that on her lip stretch with Sore Lip Liner, which was also by MAC. So I'm just going to add the final layer here. Keep your lips together. Mm -hmm. Nice. So I'm just... So just mixing that color nicely there. And then right in the center, I'm gonna add some Huda Beauty Angelic Gloss. Just very lightly. But I've mixed it with the lip color so that it looks like a peachy gloss. So now, once I'm done with the makeup, I'm gonna spritz some of the ultra fine, uh, the Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist. So just adding a hydrating spray, I feel like it's going to just make the look look nice and glowy again. And you're just going to go through her eyebrows one last time, just brush them up. Now we have the finished look and I love that it's like a really fun graphic liner. And I've done like some gorgeous skin on her, this kind of pale peachy lip. It's a preppy look, it's a fun look I feel because that's what I wanted to do because she's a young girl. You know, we did a top knot, some pearls so, and to match that we also did like a pearly shadow. So it's a fun flirty look, it's uh, graphic at the same time. We try to balance it so there were no harsh eyebrows or dark colors on the lips to make it seem it would end up going into slightly heavier more vampy kind of a look and I didn't want that for her so it's all about balance again like I said if you want to really learn truly the essence of makeup then please take our master classes we'll give the details below for anyone who wants to enroll because we get those questions a lot but otherwise for everybody who follows me here keep please commenting under the videos comment under this video what you loved about this video of my beautiful baby sister and what else you'd like to see on our channel Keep liking, sharing and subscribing to the content. The more people who go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, the more it motivates me and my team to make more videos. So keep doing that and I shall see you very soon. Bye-bye.